Hello, you're on the Cemetery Whispering channel. Don't forget to subscribe and like it. And I promise you won't fall asleep tonight. This story took place in the 1960s in the village of Nikolevka. Journalists from a periodical published in the district center became aware of it, so they went to the village personally to find out all the details from the first person. Then an article was published detailing what had happened to its heroine, Anastasia Levadnaya. It should be said right away that she is a respected woman, so neighbors and friends do not doubt her words. Especially since many of the villagers remember the details of the case very well. When Anastasia was a girl, she was always visiting her grandmother in the village for vacations. One day she and two of her friends went for a walk to the cemetery. On this fine day something came over the teenagers, as if a demon possessed these docile and kind children. They began tearing bouquets for themselves right from the graves. They almost ripped up a fresh grave, where no memorial had yet been erected, and left it in a tattered state. When they got home, each of their friends said that these flowers were given to them by an unknown woman. At night Nastya woke up to the fact that someone was strangling her. She could not scream, so she only waved her hands helplessly in the air. Fortunately, the commotion was heard by her grandmother, who ran into the room and turned on the light. At that second the grip on her throat loosened, and there was no one in the room but the girl herself. That night they could sleep no more, and in the morning they discovered that the flowers they had brought from someone else's grave had dried up completely in the vase. But that was not the only shock. The second friend's grandparents said that she had had a choking attack during the night, and the third girl died in her bed during the night. The surviving girls left the same day to visit their parents. For many years Nastya was afraid to come and visit Nikolevka, but as an adult she moved with her husband and daughters into a house inherited from her grandmother. She prefers not to remember that mystical story.